Minnesota hockey fans, there is a day that stands out from the rest. Go Hockey Day, Minnesota! Happy Hockey Day! Go Hockey Day! Hockey Day, Minnesota is more than just a game day. It's a beloved tradition, a celebration of everything hockey, and for years, there was one voice that welcomed you to the party. We welcome you to Hockey Day Minnesota, presented by Wells Fargo. I'm Tom Hanneman. Tom Hanneman hosted the primo event for hockey fans on Fox Sports North for seven years. But before the rise of Hockey Day Minnesota, another hallowed event on ice had its TV startup, the Minnesota High School Hockey Tournament. It was Minnesota mania, and you can bet Hanneman had a role to play. I'm being engulfed by monsters. Over the years, the state high school hockey tournament was broadcast on six TV stations. It became an annual event like no other. In 1983, with the tournament in its heyday, the television rights were won by WCCO-TV. It was the largest contract in U.S. history for televising a high school sporting event. What made it special for us and hopefully the viewers was it was, you know, eight teams, but I think the Olympic type of production that Channel 4 put into it. I mean, the whole state stopped and watched, and I think that was something that parents today probably, you know, remember that they played. I mean, Kevin Gorg remembers, uh, Mark Parrish remembers like it was yesterday, and those are some of the biggest thrills they had because they did it with the kids they grew up with. Hanneman himself grew up as a broadcaster at CCO with his friend Mark Rosen. It does bring out the kid in you, though. As the 70s gave way to the 80s, Tom found himself in the midst of his own hockey hat trick. From the Gophers' national title... You gotta be very pleased now. Well, I'm gonna smile now. ...to the North Stars' run for a Stanley Cup. Underdog is almost too mild a term. And finally, the newly purchased main event. For the hockey matchup of the season. WCCO-TV had Tom Hanneman as a hockey go-to guy. I know he loved it. So, yeah, I mean, hockey was as big a part as anything for Tom. Honestly, I, didn't, I never really thought of Tom as being a huge basketball fan. <laughs> I think he may have admitted that early on. I think he was a bigger hockey fan than he was a basketball fan. But at that time, it was an easy segue, I think, from going to the North Stars. Then we got the State High School Hockey Tournament. But the sport itself wasn't as important as the storytelling. And that's where Tom excelled, no matter what the sport was. Good job. How old are you? Three. He just had a way of making people feel comfortable because he wasn't doing the interview. He was having a conversation with a new friend he just made. And so his ability to tell that person's story starts with his ability to connect with that person. And in a genuine, I am interested in what you're saying. I'm listening to what you're saying. And so now the person isn't doing an interview and there are lights and there are cameras. The person is having a conversation with this new friend that he or she just met, this new friend named Tom. Tom Hanneman left WCCO-TV in 1989, where he traded his ice time for the hardwood. Hello again, everyone, alongside Jim Peterson. I'm Tom Hanneman. He then moved from being the voice of the Timberwolves to the face of Fox Sports North. His broadcast experience would come full circle when he returned to the rink to take up the reins of Hockey Day Minnesota. I can remember a really cold hockey day and I remember at our lunch break, I said, how nice is it up there on that set? And he was like, the heater broke two hours ago. We lost a camera. He's just rattling, can't feel my fingers or toes. And I was just stunned. I couldn't believe it because he was the picture of professionalism. It was like it was 70 degrees. And that was Tom. I've really been blessed to uh, cover this game of hockey in Minnesota for uh, many decades. I had a lot of fun. While the golden years of the state hockey tournament and Hockey Day Minnesota are decades apart, their similarities are certainly close together. They are vital to the hockey communities and teams they showcase, yet the programs themselves create their own community among the TV production crew. Together a team, if only for a day. A common thread woven between the two, Tom Hanneman would no doubt wear the C on his sweater. Tom's ability to get along with everyone and it was such a team effort people don't understand i mean we felt such a camaraderie with the people that we didn't get a chance to work with maybe all that often at the station for that particular time uh, we were all thrown in the same hopper and we were all there for one cause we were all in this together and on hockey day it was so prevalent just because there were so many crew members around it took so many people to make that day work he just was warm and welcoming no matter what he was professional, no matter what. He was the... He 
he was the friendliest person you would see the second you walked into the office. And it didn't matter the kind of day he had, he wanted to know the kind of day you had. He made every day that I had with him just a little bit better, just a little bit funnier, just a little bit brighter, a little bit warmer, all the time. And when that final championship game was over, we handed out the trophy and we partied together and had a good time. Those are the moments that stand out in someone's career. It's not the game itself. It's those shared experiences that I remember. And, and being a part of it with Tom was made it spectacular.